Yep. Ah! It's just kind of windy. Okay, here I go. Good morning. We're here back at the land, Sarah and I. Uh, we have two really beautiful days up here that we're really looking forward to. The weather's gonna be so perfect. Uh, and we also have just a variety of activities. So this video, we're just gonna kind of take you through our day of all the things we're gonna be doing. Ready? Yep. Oh, right I see there. what you did. Okay. I'm going there tomorrow. That sounds like great yard sale. We're back at the land and our tiny home. I figured I'd give you a quick update in terms of some new things that's around here. It's a real mess right now, but uh, just to kind of show you around a little bit. This is pretty new, but I am going to add these, uh, excuse the mess again, these handles, these metal handles that I got from Wayfair. I'm gonna put that kind of here, I'm gonna do that today. But the new addition to is the fridge. We got a fridge in that, it's super helpful. We used to keep things in the cooler all the time. We got tons of food with a microwave, so we got a microwave to make things easier to heat things up. We got a little desk where I do some work here and there. This net is awesome. It's held on magnetically, so when you're done, when you get out of it, you just let go of it and it connects. And just like that, we now have a new table. Okay, let's give you a nice long update on what's been going on with the big cabin build. We show you a lot of things with the tiny home and the things that we have fun here at the land. But our main goal is to build a uh, big cabin uh, based off of the Den Outdoors plans. Almost over the whole year, we've been working on getting a contractor, uh, getting materials lined up, and uh, also finishing our plan. But with these plans, we can finally uh, submit it or give it to good general contractors to get an estimate. Uh, today, we're actually gonna be meeting another general contractor, which I'm uh, hopeful for it. We've been we talked to about three, uh, actually four. To be honest, I've actually talked to about like six contractors. Mm. And once we have the general contractor, then we're pretty much all set. We have the plans, we have the people, and we can hopefully start uh, breaking ground, installing the foundation, installing the septic system sometime this year. The main challenge that we're personally having is finances, frankly. Uh, a year ago, we bought this land with the intention to build this cabin. Since then, a lot has changed in terms of the economy, in terms of the cost of material, labor shortages, uh, a lot of challenges. On the other side is the loan that we're planning to get. So when I first started this journey, I pulled a loan, I refinanced my home or my apartment to get the money to start this project. Well, it turns out that amount was not even close to enough to even really start or finish everything that we have in mind. So we have to go through another round of getting a loan. And right now, at this current time that I'm recording this, interest rates are at an all time high. So it's a little challenging to balance that or waiting a little bit and also balancing cost materials and also availability of general contractors. I'm most likely gonna go forward with the second round of funding. That way we can try to get this going sometime this year. So that's why it's taken kind of so long. It's taken almost a whole year trying to get the right funding, the right people uh, before we can get started. In the meantime, we're really enjoying this land. We're adding things that makes it more fun for us. We're building a tiny home in the back and we're inviting friends over for barbecues and staying overnight and things like that. Of course, we got the good land hot tub, which we absolutely love. It's so nice. And I can't wait for that to be one of the centerpieces of our big home, uh, big cabin that we're building uh, sometime very soon. But that's the update, but let's go to something a little bit more fun and I'll show you what I have in mind that I'm hoping will work today. So a little bit about me. I've, in the past, I've always really enjoyed flying remote control planes and drones, but I've been flying these things before drones were even popular. And I got this a long time ago, and the first day I took it out, it was super windy and I crashed it, and I'm not sure if it works anymore. And I'm here to test it out to see if it works. Okay, plane is ready to go. Sarah, you ready to watch me do this? 
my first time flying this in a long time. I don't even know if this is gonna work. Here I go. Oh my gosh. Oh man, that didn't go too well. Well done. All right, so we finally just had our meeting with the new con general contractor. Really liked the guy. About a week or so, he'll be able to give me a kind of a more um, a precise quote on how much things will cost, and that will help me to move forward whether or not that's someone I would want to consider to move forward with. But if everything goes well, um, he said that we can maybe have start building in about three months, and then have an airtight envelope done by December so we can work into uh, winter the inside uh, and basically you know finish it sometime early next year if everything goes perfectly. It was a really great meeting and uh, Sarah and I are both excited and um, we'll see how that goes. All right we're back at my New York City apartment as you can see. It's been about three weeks or so since my general contract came to the land to see me as you saw in the video just now. So I want to include this update in the end of the video to let you know exactly where we're at right now. My general contractor his name is Nick. Uh, and since then, we've had a lot of conversations, some conversations between uh, myself and I, uh, myself and I, myself and Nick, uh, with my architect, with my structural engineer, and with the company that makes the SIP panels that's going to be the walls of my house. So after having all those conversations, uh, Nick and I were able to nail down a rough budget for how much it would cost to build my home. So I'm going to share with you the numbers I finally got after working so hard to figure out how much does it cost to build a cabin like the one I want to build. So a little specs on mine, I got mine from Den Outdoors, it's the Alpine 2.2 and uh, I modified it uh, quite a bit on the inside. My square footage is about 1700 square feet. At the end of the day when we marked down all the line items for our budget, our total to build the house is $580,000. So that's $580,000 for about 1,700 square feet. That's gonna be about $342 per square foot. They said 250 would be pretty reasonable about, about two to four years ago, uh, definitely before COVID. Uh, but now it's definitely gone up, so right now we're looking at 342. But that budget, which I'll show you uh, now as I talk, <clears throat> that budget only covers the house build. So that's everything from the foundation up. So it does not include the land, the amount that I paid for my land. I paid a total of about $100,000 for the land, the well, the electricity, uh, the clearing, the driveway, all that all set up for the build. So that means we're talking about $100,000 for everything on the land ready to go and another $580,000 for the house on top, totaling up to about $680,000. And you divide that by 1700, 1,700 square feet, you're getting about $400 per square foot. That is my current budget. Now, keep in mind, when Nick and I worked on this, 580000 is on the higher side. It's supposed to be on the higher side. But the goal is to, we're, we're hoping that we can stay about around the 480000 So I think we can probably save about 100000 off of that estimate. That's the, that's the goal. Again, that's my experience, but it could be very different from what you're experiencing in your build and in your location. So that's about it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found that information useful and you enjoyed coming along for the ride to everything at the land that we buy. If you like this, please do like and subscribe. We're really trying to grow our channel and it's, it's quite a struggle to be honest. So please do share our content if you find it useful. Stay tuned for more on how to build your own cabin as well as just stuff that we're going to experience along the way. If everything goes well, we're planning to break ground in about three or four months. So at that time, there's going to be a lot of great new content coming out. So thanks so much for watching and see you next time.